so lekker om saam met muzikante ook te kyk hier op die groot ontbijt, en vanochtend is nie uitsondering nie, ons doen dit so voort, saam met talentvolle muzikant daar uit Kaapstad, en haar naam Lea Elees, en sy het natuurlijk haar jongste liekie en muziekvideo I Will Sing, waarna ons gaan kyk net na die onderhoud so bykie later in die program. Maar kom ons net eers goeiemorgen, Lea Elees, good morning, welcome to die groot ontbijt. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Wonderful to have you, especially with that background. I must tell you, we are <laughs> jealous. Very much so. <laughs> yes. Do you, do you enjoy Cape Town? Do you enjoy that beautiful view? I mean, Cape Town's my favorite place in the whole world. <laughs> I'm very, very blessed to live here. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just hope this you never gets old because, like you said, it is beautiful and mm. you can get sometimes. Well, we can understand why, so enjoy it as long as it lasts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell us a bit more. Lea Elise, who are you? Where do you come from? We know you're Cape Townian now, but how old yeah. are you and, and what do you do for a living? So I'm 22 years old, um, soon to be 23, and I, yeah, I really, I'm currently in my third year of psychology, so I'm trying to get through that and finish mm -hmm. my degree. Um, but then I work for a church full time, so that's incredible. I love it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I do in my week. Um, full time in ministry, that's amazing. You it is. To know. Yeah. Yes, no, no, that's absolutely uh, amazing that you would also use your gift uh, for the glory of God. I wanted to ask you, I hear that at this young age, you already had a stint in London as well. Please tell us about that. Yeah. Yes, it was a short-lived stint. I did have a dream to kind of leave South Africa at one point after I finished school, go overseas, become a famous musician in London. Um, and so I got into a music college there called BIM. And I was there for three months, but this was like in the peak of COVID 2020, like end mm. of about September. Um, and I came home for Christmas in December and we were put back on the red list at that point. So then I wasn't allowed back into the country. Mm. So it kind of forced my hand. So I wasn't actually legally allowed to go back. Um, but looking back at it now, I definitely can see how God's hand was in all of that because being home, my life has been so different. Um, certain things, I never would have even been in ministry if I didn't come back. Mm. Um, so yeah, it definitely was for the best, but it was an interesting experience. But how do you move from how do you move from a degree in music performance to a degree in psychology? Why that change? Yes. To be honest, the psychology was a plan B. My mm. parents were kind of like, just in case the music doesn't work out, maybe <laughs> just have a backup. So psychology was kind of the only other thing I could see myself in. Mm. which I do, like, I, I definitely enjoy the counselling space and I, I, I could see myself being a counsellor and, and that sort of thing. So, yeah, it wasn't always my number one plan, but I enjoy it. Uh, I want to take you a step back. You uh, started uh, performing at multiple events, I think from the age of 14, and you've managed to find your niche. You've managed to find your audience. Talk us through that process. How did you know this is my calling for now. This is the direction that I need to go when it comes to my musical career. Mm. Um, yeah, like you said, it's definitely been a journey. Um, I started singing from the age of six, so it was very young. And like I really knew then that music was going to be a part of my life and I wanted it to be a part of my life. Um, so I started off with classical training and very much in the like operatic classical singing um, and so I went that route for a good like 10 years or so until I was about 16 and then I started to kind of venture out into doing like jazz um, and that's one of my favorite genres I love singing mm. jazz so I think when I kind of got into that um, that's where I started to explore a little bit more of my sound um, I always kind of was drawn more towards the like ballad, jazzy, soul type of side. Mm -hmm. um, so that's when I started exploring that um, and I, I loved it. So that's kind of when I broke away from the classical and started going into more of that side of music. Um, and yeah, and then I think it was really just a journey of figuring out my sound and writing songs, um, seeing what I like, seeing what works. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that changes all the time. I feel like I have sort of an idea but every time it feels like something else comes, I'm like, oh, I like that. Um, 
so it's cool. I feel like there's still so much more for me to kind of explore there. Well, you've got a beautiful voice. Uh, yeah. We've listened to the music video, and yeah, it's a strong voice. It's a, it's like a dark sound, strong Velvet dark sound, is. and then it's from a low range to a high range. Beautiful song. You can become the singing psychologist. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Lee, Lee, tell us about this song. I will sing. What is what is it all about? So I think the song is really a testimony of my life uh, personally, but I also wanted it to represent like a universal kind of experience. Mm. Um, I think it really just details the kind of moments in my life that have been really hard, like kind of going through those valleys. Um, and then kind of through my relationship with God and finding Jesus, having hope despite all of it. So that's really the inspiration behind the song is kind of that journey. Um, and kind of despite what I go through, despite the seasons of life, I still have a reason to sing. I still have hope. Um, and for me, that, that hope is Jesus, is my faith. So um, that's, I was inspired to write about that because that really is, it's been a huge, huge change in my life. Um, and I wanted it to come across for other people, like, you know, there is, it is possible to have joy and have hope in the hardest of seasons. Um, so yeah, that's, it's been incredible to kind of write a song like that and, you know, let it be actually true and what my life is like. So, yeah. A very beautiful messaging behind it and also a very beautiful cause behind it. You've of course partnered with RADA or RADA. Please tell us more about that and how your partnership uh, with the song, with the organization will benefit them. Yes. So, yeah, I actually, when I was my old producer, um, Howie Combrink, I was working with him um, a couple of years ago and I was kind of pursuing a little bit more of a music career. And um, he used to produce their albums for them. Um, Riders released a couple of albums before this. Um, and so he had offered for me if I wanted to be a part of this recent one this year. So this journey started like beginning of last year, um, so it's been quite a long time coming, um, but yeah, that process started and started writing for them. Then flew up to Joburg to record there. Um, so yeah, it's an awesome opportunity. Like what Rada is doing is incredible, and I think that the idea to use music to get their message across mm -hmm. and to get mm -hmm. other people involved in what they're doing, I think, is brilliant. Um, so yeah, that's kind of how that partnership formed, and the song is really just—it's a part of their Rada Unearth Volume Three album um which features other artists and um yeah it's just an incredible opportunity to kind of for me personally to give to them um and also to be a part of what they're doing mm. and of, of course they work and support people who went through you know stuff like rape and addiction and mm -hmm. drug yeah. abuse and 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 so it's a wonderful cause and uh, so are you going to work with them in future as well again <laughs> hopefully I'm just waiting for the invite, but I mean, I I enjoyed the process so much. It's just been awesome. I just feel like something that aligns with my values so much, and I was just very blessed to kind of be able to do something like that that I really like believe in. Um, so yeah, it was awesome. Mm. Yeah, Elise, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And we're really looking forward to listen to the song now later yeah. on in the program. Uh, a song with a great message, a personal journey. And uh, we trust that the Lord will bless you and, and your journey to yeah. continue with, uh, with Rada as well. And the work they do. So Thank you guys. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Dit dan Lea Elise, wat vanochtend samen met ons gekeier het. En dit oor haar nieuwe lied, I Will Sing.